What is going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here. Coming at you guys with a card fight Vanguard in a waste uh, news update. Now, I know I haven't done a lot of the cards of the week for Requiem at Dusk uh, recently, like I said I would, but that's just because the set hasn't really gotten a lot more support because they've had to release spoilers for the other set, um, Waltz of the Goddess. So, I just took a break off that and I've been really busy with stuff, so I will probably get around to doing a lot more stuff like. Finishing off the SAO deck once I finally get the cards I need because they are in the mail and it's just taking a heck of a long time to get here, but that's the story for another time. So I will be uploading ways content at some point uh, within the next few weeks, I hope. Now anyways, getting on to the news at hand, we have a bunch of Vanguard and Ways, well, uh, Bushi Road, well, we have a bunch of Bushi Road related news. So the first off is the fact that we are getting two new TDs for the Japanese. So, uh, TD-16 and TD-17, so as we can see with TD-16, we're getting Olivier Gaillard, and he has his, uh, Blue Swords, Holy Prominence, Prison, Bushi, Grade 3 here with the Grade 2, which is pretty cool, and, yeah, they're just really awesome cards, I, they, they look really nice, and, uh, based on the anime, I think that they're gonna be pretty decent, being Gold Paladin and all that, I still feel that, Maybe it's a little bit more luck sack, but that's just me. But anyways, that's what it is. Um, the set is titled Divine Judgment of the Bluish Flames, which I feel that that's like the bluish part. I think, think they might change it just because it doesn't sound right to me, but that's just me. So yeah, no uh, more information is released on the set as of yet, but that is just the art. Moving on, I think the most the biggest news that we know as of right now is that, oh my gosh, Aichi is using Link Joker. Oh my gosh, TD17, so hype. Team hype, guys. Like, you think that Link Joker's dead, and then you were like, oh my gosh, Aichi, what just happened here? And it's like, the fact of the matter is that if you watch the anime, Corrin uses these two cards. But the fact that they have Aichi in this means that he obviously uses the clan as well. Or he somehow intertwined with Link Joker, and they just decided not to put Corrin inside, but they want to put Aichi. So it. It uh, foreshadows something, and the fact that he's also wearing black and red and white, which is the three main colors, prominent colors of Ink Joker, also um, portrays something as well. So the set's called Will of the Lock Dragon. Now, if you already know, these two cards are Legion, and it's a standard kind of like infinite zero dragon type of thing, but it's still pretty good. And yeah, I'm probably going to pick these up. I really want to see. I just, like, I didn't play Link Joker in English, or I'm not planning to at all for, like, until, even with Omega Glendios, I'm not planning to. The only reason that I'm interested in this is not just because IG plays it. It's partly because of that, because he looks really cool in the jacket, but it's also because I really do enjoy the art of this uh, Legion, and in general, I just, like, usually I don't like Link Joker's art, but this art I actually am quite fond of, and... In all reality, I feel that if Aichi was ODD Gaia, I would for sure run this, because, like, like, wait, like, this guy looks a lot, heck of a lot cooler, I'm sorry, but that's kind of true, it's like Leon Sorio mixed with Aichi. But anyways, uh, that's enough of me babbling on about my personal preferences and main characters, let's get on to the next thing. Um, VGB BT17 was also released as the card art, so this is going to include Link Joker, I believe Pale Moon, uh, Great Nature, possibly, I can't remember exactly, Link Joker, Pale Moon, Gold Paladin, Royal Paladin, Kagero, I believe, is what the six ones will be, six clans will be, but, yeah, oh, maybe Tachikaze, I don't remember exactly which ones, but I know that for a fact that Royal, Gold, Kagero, and uh, Link Joker will be getting support for sure, and this is called the Blazing uh, Prediction, I think, Partition? Plays in partition, I think, because I can't really read it. There's like this little advertisement here at the bottom. But yeah, um, this set's gonna include lots of cards that would be really key to, I guess, Kai and his friends winning against uh, Team Quatre Knights, I think. But yeah, um, I think I'll leave this into the next thing. But yeah, you can probably understand what I'm gonna get to here. So, a lot of speculation has been speculated around the fact that people are wondering if this is going to be a F Kagero unit legion or if it's going to be royal paladin because some people are thinking that it looks kind of like like a lot of people are saying that it looks 
this I think it's either this this one it looks a lot like Vortex Dragon from uh, Kagero, but the fact remains that um most of the dragons weren't this color, and most of the royal paladin dragons had this like bluish metalish tint to it. And the only difference is that there's magma, which leads you to think that's maybe Kagero. But I have a strong feeling that it's Kagero just because Kai was on the front of the box, and usually you see him in the front of the box only when there's Kagero. So um, most likely that's the case. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, it makes me want to play Kagero again after uh, selling my English Dote deck. So Dragonic Overload the end. So I might pick that up just because of the fact that I might need get Link Joker as well. It all depends about funds and well if I can trade for it and stuff. But yeah, um, and here's the other one. Uh, people aren't. I, I really have a feeling that this is another one of ODV Gaia's uh, legions, but some people think are led to believe that it's Royal Pollen just because of the fact that they already have um, a legion from gold, but I really do strongly feel that just because of the trial deck coming out and just because of the fact that this card looks, ex they all have like this little circle thing and this card looks exactly the same as the other one, I feel that that's what's going to happen in terms of development i think that it's just that it's just like blaster blade i think whereas this card the grade three gets changed with sting saber and then you just have the same uh grade two so yeah i think that that's what's gonna happen so uh apart from that news we're gonna skip on to uh waste bushy road ish news so um in case if you haven't already heard victory spark has decided to conclude everything on its official page on august 1st 2014 they will no longer be printing anything else. So after the release of their last set, I do not know exactly the name, they will stop printing entirely. So they have completely kind of given up on the game. I don't know, maybe they'll pick it up in the future or somebody's going to pick it up and find the licensing and everything. But yeah, it's kind of a shame because it did have some nice anime because like Anohana, I never got into it, but I know that like anime like Anohana is really popular. Like, they had really strong anime, I think. And I think Golden Time's going to it. Or is that Precious Memories? I don't remember. But they had, like, some decent ones, like this one. Oh, Day to Live. Yeah, that's right. And they have a bunch of good animes that, ha that have been put to the set. But it's just, like, it's not a very popular thing. It's, like, Bushiroad hasn't promoted the set as the, the game as much as things like Buddy Fight, which just recently came out. This game's been out for a while now, so... You can understand why they wouldn't want to um, keep on continuing this th franchise because I think they are generally losing money and they want to maybe push out Level Neo, which is coming out later, which is apparently a heck of a lot more complicated than any game I have played so far. So I don't know if I'm going to play that, but it does have my Hoka Koka. And uh, as you can tell by my uh, little start thing here, uh, yeah, you know, it's... Uh... I'm quite enjoying that Mahoka Koga, but uh, yeah, the anime is a uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, it's maybe a story for another time, but um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, segment. I hope you do uh, comment, like, and subscribe for all up updated uh, more Cry Fred Vanguard news. I will probably do be doing the EV12 when I have the time, just because of the fact that I think that. I will have the time and that uh, there's no point in not doing it at this rate because there's no more spoilers like a lot of spoilers for Revengers and all that uh, until uh, later so I think I'll just merge the two at the end but yeah anyways guys um stay tuned for more content of the channel uh comment rate like rate like and subscribe and feel free to check out the Facebook page if you do so intend to now anyways guys it's been Tony from Team Divine Pro signing off Bye.